indictment of Alexander Cote and Al Shafi Al Sheikh. Cote and Al Sheikh were members of the notoriously brutal ISIS hostage taking cell that became known as the Beatles, a name their captives gave to them because of their British accents. The defendants are charged with terrorism offenses related to hostage taking and killing of four Americans, as well as citizens of Great Britain and Japan. All that I'm about to recount now are allegations and can be found in the four corners of the 24-page indictment, which was unsealed just a moment ago. As stated in that charging document, these alleged terrorists both grew up in the United Kingdom, where they became radicalized. Their role within the ISIS terrorist organization was that of being part of a brutal hostage-taking scheme by which American, European, and Asian citizens were taken hostage from approximately 2012 to 2015. Their alleged criminal acts include conspiring to commit hostage taking, resulting in death, and conspiring to murder American citizens James Foley, Kayla Mueller, Stephen Sotloff, and Peter Kasich. As part of the conspiracy, their vicious acts and those of co-conspirators Mohammed M. Wazi and CC1 are alleged to include the following forced witnessing of murders, mock executions, shocks via electric taser, beatings, amongst other brutal acts. Brutal acts of beheading were captured by the ISIS media propaganda machine and disseminated to, to achieve their aims of jihad. Further, as detailed in the indictment, part of the alleged horrific conditions of confinement, the self-proclaimed leader of ISIS Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi also made it a point to repeatedly sexually assault American citizen Kayla Jean Mueller. As you know, al-Baghdadi was killed on or about October 26, 2019, in a United States military operation named in honor of Kayla and her birthday, August 14th, Operation 814. For these acts, these two alleged terrorists will now face the American justice system. Later today, we expect these defendants to make their initial appearance a few miles away in Alexandria, Virginia. At that hearing, they will be informed of the charges against them. They will be provided with counsel if they cannot afford it. They will receive medical care and be housed in a sanitary facility and be provided with three meals a day, all coupled with the due process of law. All things denied to James, Kayla, Stephen, and Peter and the other British and Japanese victims named in the indictment. Like Director Ray, in preparation for today, I reviewed, some, I reviewed some prose that really captured what today is all about. And I quote, they should be brought to America to face our justice system. And that is what our children would have wanted. Give them the fair trial that makes our nation great. That would be the best way to honor our children. Ensuring that truth and justice find their way out of this tragic story would mean that the Islamic State will never have the last word.